one more time. Amen. We're going to share a word today, amen. A word of wisdom, a word of knowledge. I believe something that will help you, not just in church, but also in life in general. Amen. We're going to turn now with me to Psalms 92, beginning with verse 12. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. Amen. 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 Key verse, verse 13 says, those that be planted in the house of the Lord Some of you already see the message already. Come on, somebody. Some of you are familiar with planting and potting. Amen, somebody. And you know that there is a difference. Amen, somebody. So the question we're going to ask ourselves, and also after today, you're going to begin to ask this question about folk that's in your life. Are you planting or just potting? What does it mean to be planted? The, the definition of being planted is, it says to set in the earth, to grow. Set, it is fixed, it is established. To be potted is simply be preserved or enclosed in a pot. Amen. So, so being in a pot means that, that you enclosed, that means that you only have a certain amount um, amount of space, a certain amount of things that you can pull from and deal with. Amen, somebody. So we want to be, obviously we want God to plant us because he said in the word that those that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish. Come on, somebody. Shall flourish. A person that is a horticulturist is someone that uh, uh, cultivates and and plants, and, and we need to understand that God is the one that plants us and plants people in our lives. Come on, somebody.
one thing we have to realize is that when you put people in your life that that you've potted and placed there, you really do them a disservice as well. Amen. Hmm? Because you limit their growth by you potting them. Amen. And because people have no root, they can't stand any storm, anything that comes in their life. You want to be able to identify potted folk, they always down. They ain't never got a good word. Come on, somebody. Huh? The day ain't never good. Well, come on. Huh? Every time something happens, here they go, woe is me. I ain't going to make it. But those that are planted, we know that God, he strengthens us, and we can do all things through Christ. Come on, somebody, who strengthens me. Amen. That has to be your testimony if you plant it. I'm planted. I shall not be moved. Where y'all at? I don't care which way the wind blowing. I shall not be moved. Because God has planted me. <laughs> if you're not rooted, you will be booted. You don't believe me, do you? Luke 13, 6 and 9. I'm going to go down. If you're not rooted, you will be booted. Luke's gospel, 13. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching it right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Luke 13, 6. He spake of also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in the vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of the vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why cover it in the ground? And he answering, and Jesus answering, said unto God, Lord, let it alone this year also till I shall dig about it and dung it. Are y'all with me? And if it bear fruit well, and if not, then after that thou shalt what? Cut it down. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, your fruit. God said he comes around every year. It's a parable. God trying to show us something spiritual. He comes around every year. He come to your house. He ain't got it. Come on, somebody. And he looking to see. Looking for the fruit. Come on. Now, if there's no fruit, God allows Jesus, who's the, uh, 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 he's the nurturer. Come on, somebody. He's the one that tends to us. Are y'all with me? He allows him to come and dig about. He said, I'm going to, come on, I'm going to break the ground up around it so that what I'm put on it can get to the what? The roots. And he's going to dung it and dung your manure, you know, or fertilize. He's going to fertilize it. Looks like it needs a little help. Come on, somebody. Anybody ever just been there? I, I, I want to produce, but I just need a little. Just need a little help, Lord. Huh? And the Lord said, let's leave it alone one more season. And I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it. Come on, because they already planted in the vineyard. So I'm going to work on them. Because, come on, somebody. So they'll produce fruit. But if you don't produce fruit, he said, then you can cut it down. And burn it up. Now, this is my last scripture. Psalms 1. Go there with me. I love this psalm. Psalm 1. Hallelujah. Here's what it says. Come on, somebody. Uh -uh, we're talking about planet now. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. 
But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Come on, somebody. And he shall be like a what? Tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in what? His season. I want you to grab something right here. Verse 3 says, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. See, there's something about a tree that's planted by the river. Come on, somebody. Because what you don't see is that the roots are down to the, in the water. Come on, they done stretched, they done found that water. Come on, somebody. And that's why they shall not be moved. That's why they continue to grow. Because the source, who is God, is constantly feeding them. Come on, somebody. See, you don't know what's keeping me up. You can't see what's holding me up. Come on, somebody. See, folk can't see what's keeping you up. Folk can't see what's making you keep going. Because it's your root system. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, I'm, somebody say, I'm rooted. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in what? His season. Don't let folk try to put their season on you. Ooh, I said there's something right there. Look, you got to be careful. Folk will try to put their season on you. And it's their time to produce, not yours. It's their season to produce fruit, not yours. <sighs> he said to produce fruit. And fruit in his what? In his season. What does it say? His what? Leaf also shall not what? Hmm? Wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. But the but the potty folk are not so. I know, it, I know it says the ungodly. Verse 4, the ungodly are what? Not so. But I like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not what? Hmm? Is it making sense to anybody? Yeah. It shall not what? Stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly. Planted or are you are you potted? Amen. Huh? And, 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 and you ought not have to answer that question. We ought to be able to see some fruit. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on. I can find one fruit on the tree. I can identify the tree. Come on, somebody. If I can just find one fruit on the tree, I can identify the tree. Amen. Huh? Now, here's what I want to, to do. I want to pray for those that have been planted, and you're really not producing like you know you should. Listen to me. Amen now. And, and you like that tree. You like, you looking good. You're doing good. Come on, somebody but you're just not producing the fruit. And the Lord wants to dig about you. He wants to fertilize you so that you can produce that fruit. Come on, somebody. You see, we, we, so, we, 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 we so real big about going to the grocery store and buying fruit. Come on, somebody. Where y'all orange, orange eaters and apple eaters at? Banana eaters. Come on, somebody. You keep them in the house, but what is the word? The spiritual fruit. What a love. Come on, somebody. What a long suffering at. This is the kind of fruit that God is looking for. What a joy. What a joy, Ed. Why are you always down? Come on, somebody. What's your joy? Huh? And, 
And here's what I want you to understand. God is not mad at you. Come on, somebody. He's not mad at you. He loves you too much to be mad at you. He cares for you. Huh? So right now, we just need to cast our care on him because he cares for us. That's it. That's it. He cares for us. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today. We're here, Lord. We're here in your vineyard. And God, we know that you planted us here. We know that you planted us. But God, we're struggling with the issues of life, things going on, God, and, and, and we've become unfruitful. God, we once produced fruit, so we know we're able. We know we're able, God. And we know, we, we know we're, we're your tree. But God, we're just saying that we need your help. We need you, Lord, to, to, to come and visit us. Oh, Lord, come visit us in, in those lonely times when we're all alone, God, and we feel like nobody is there and nobody cares. God, we need you to come and just touch us. In the name of Jesus, God. Because the time is coming. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. When you're going to come again to inspect our fruit. And God, we want to have much more fruit when you come again. Hallelujah. We want you to see the love, the joy, the peace. Come on, somebody, the lonesome. We want you to see it when you come. So God, whatever it is you need to do, we give you permission to do it. Whatever you need to break up in my life, God. Oh, Whatever you need to break up, whoever you need me to break up with. Whoever you need me to break it off with. God, just show me, just show me. Just show me. I'll do it. I want to be fruitful. I want to be fruitful. And I just don't want to be fruitful for me. I want to be fruitful for other folks. I want to be fruitful for my husband, my wife, my children. Come on, somebody. I want them to be able to come and pluck fruit off my tree. If they feeling down, I want them to come get a little bit of my joy, a little bit of my peace. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I am your tree. You are my husband, man. Work on me, Lord. Say that with me. Say, work on me, Lord. He has to have permission. I said he has to have permission because God is a gentleman. The enemy is the thief. The one that comes to kill, steal, and destroy. God is a gentleman. He needs your permission. Huh? Work on me, Lord. Mm, fertilize me, Lord. <laughs> Woo. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. And we give you glory. In the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. That means you agree. Say amen. amen. That means you touching and agreeing. Come on, somebody. Amen. Now, there may be someone here today that's never received Jesus. We want to give you an opportunity to come as well. Hallelujah. And there may be some that desire to join church today. We give you an opportunity to come as well, too. Amen. To unite with us. Amen. To be planted in this vineyard. Hallelujah. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to say it because I believe it. I believe the Kingdom Connection Church is good ground. Come on, somebody. I be, I, not because I'm good or Lady Ross good or that we good, but because God is good. And God has placed us here. God has broken us up over the years. I don't know if some of y'all know that's been here forever. That God done did some cultivating in here. Come on, somebody. He done did some pruning, some cutting away and all that kind of stuff. Come on, somebody. Yeah, that's the Lord's doing. Amen. That's the Lord's Thank you, son. That's the, it's the Lord's doing. 
and it's marvelous in our eyes because we couldn't conceive of such a thing. Come on, man can't conceive of such a thing as a church. Come on, we, we, it's not in us to conceive of it. It's a God thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Man, go ahead. Let me go ahead. Amen. We're going to keep our babies. Come on, somebody. We have a responsibility to our babies. They said bring them up in the fear. Come on. Come on. Come on, somebody. We got to nurture them. Amen. We got to nurture them. We got to pray for them. Amen. Hallelujah. God said, be fruitful and multiply. He didn't mean for you to have fruit and just cast them on the ground. Some of y'all have grabbed that later. Some folk have children and cast them away. They don't bring them up in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Whew. Bring these babies up here. Give me all of them. Give me all of them. Hallelujah. Give me all of them. Come on, bring me all these babies up here. Come on, somebody. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus says, suffer not the little ones to come unto me. Are y'all with me? The, mo the, cr the, most cri the, cr the most critical stage of a plant is when it's first, when it's young, when it's when it's just been planted, that's when it really needs tending to the most. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because there are so many things out there that's out to destroy and hurt and kill them. But they're not aware of, but we, we're aware of it because we've been through it. Come on, somebody. We've survived the storms that are trying to come their way. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we want to take a moment just to bless our babies. And God, we say they're ours because we take ownership of them. We're not ashamed of them. Even when they're not acting the way they should, God, they're still ours. So God, we say bless them and keep them. They're young minds, God. In this day and age where things are moving fast, and so much information is coming at them, God, in the name of Jesus, we pray, God, that you would filter it and remove the negative. Bombard them with positive things. Keep positive people around them. In the name of Jesus, let them even be able to understand that, that they need to get away from the potted friends. Those that don't mean them any good. Those that keep them in trouble. To remove them from their lives. In the name of Jesus. And give us as parents, give us as Lead us, God. The ability to see and look into their hearts and even into their minds, God. So we would be able to know how to minister to them in the name of Jesus. So we call and decree that they are blessed. Somebody say better than blessed. I said they are best. Somebody say better than blessed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank God for our young people. Amen. Bless them. And keep them. And we send this decree out to all our young, young babies that are not here. Those that are in college. Come on, somebody. They're still ours, and we decree blessings upon them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, I'm planted. Now, say it like you mean it. Amen.